What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. What's up, bro? Let the people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals today. You know, what's the deal, man? Y'all already know what it is. Your boy, Ill Hitter, Mr. Oh, yeah. And y'all know how I'm coming, man. Well, bro, you've been going crazy lately, lately with this music shit. How it feel to know you got a, you know, a strong fan base now? Man, it feel good because this is something that I, I always wanted, but I never thought that I would be in the position that I'm in. It's fast. So it's like, I'm excited. That's why I show so much love and embrace my fans, you know? Yeah. You know, it's important to, uh, you know, show love to your fans because they're the reason why you at. Yeah. So uh, what part of the city are you from? I'm from Chicago. I'm from the west side of Chicago. Chicago Avenue and Trump, you know. Also known as 290, as everybody say, but you know, I don't say 290. I just, you feel me? I'm from out west. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, since you've been doing the music, you feel like your city been behind you? Yeah, my city been rocking with me hard. Don't get me wrong, there's been a lot, of, a lot of hatred, you feel me? And, you know, people saying certain stuff, but me being the person that I am, I came from the struggle, so it's like, can't nobody really say nothing about me that I can't say about myself. So it was like I stiffed on a lot of the negativity and stuff. So yeah. it's like, you know, they a lot of hate, but it's at the end of the day, my, they, 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 they feeling me, they, they dig it. They digging your boy like six feet, you feel me? So, you know, you know it's all love, man. Yeah. You know, you can't please everybody, so there's always gonna be some type of yeah. negativity and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But as long as your situation better than what it was before, that's really all that matter. But you know, when I first found out about you, it wasn't in, it wasn't in like a music video shit. It was like a Facebook video. I don't know if you was at a prom or something performing. Yeah, that's my little, that was my little brother prom. Yeah, that shit was T. Like I didn't know that was your song. I'm thinking they just, you know, they paid you to perform. I see you mm -hmm. dancing and shit. I'm like, damn, this shit kind of catchy. The next thing you know, I'm, I see a video. I'm like, oh, that's the same dude. I'm, damn, <laughs> he just teed up. So, uh, you know, where you get your uh. You know your first big break from was it from that video or was it from the actual song? <coughs> um, you know I I I I already had a decent fan base before you know I even made all oh, year. You feel me? Um, I think I to be honest I think yeah that prom video is what made me stand out. I went I went viral from off the Facebook prom video. Yeah, that's my first break. But like I said, I, I already had a little decent little fan base so. You know, people just waiting like, man, we just waiting on that one hit. We just waiting on that one hit. And, you know. So, you know, before uh, before that song had dropped, how long have you been doing music before then? Uh, let me see. I've been, I've been doing music for a while. I've, I've, been, I've been writing music since I was 14. And um, um, I'm trying to see. December 2016, I ended up coming home, standing on top of the business on the music business. And then I ended up getting locked up for parole violation in June of 2017. And then I ended up, I, I ended up getting right back out in September. So from September to I blew up in June, it wasn't even a year yet. So yeah, I blew up within a year. Damn, so you know, how I feel for all this shit that happened so fast? Is it like, do it take you some getting used to or? Uh, it's, it's crazy. Like, don't get me wrong, this shit can get stressful, but it's like, it's, it's what you make out of it, you feel me? And it's like, I, I feel good. I just just go back. I, I don't, I try not to overdo it. I go day by day and just try to just remain calm and, and just make sure I got my head on straight because I know this shit can, can throw you off, you feel? So I just try to just stay humble and just focus on, you know, certain things at a time. Yeah. You know, what you gaining all this exposure and fame so quick, uh, did you start seeing people around you start acting different? Like people that, like, that really knew you act like fans type shit? Like on some weird? Yeah, a lot of people start acting like fans. Like on the outside looking in, well, look, from the outside looking in, I like before all this time I came in, I never thought, I never knew why certain people acted the way they acted. Like, man, why he ain't around his people? Or why he was around him and I hit around him? Like, I really see it now. Like, envy, it just comes. Like, certain people cannot help that. You feel me? And it's like, it can come from anywhere, any and everywhere. You just gotta, that's why you gotta remain humble through everything because you never know what obstacle will be here to hit you. 
that's why you gotta always believe it and stay prayed up because everybody don't get a chance to make it to this to this stage of, of, of life, you know. Yeah. So it's like when a person do when they do happen to you or whatever do, does happen to you from the, the people that you thought love you, it, it hurt, but you can't you can't show emotions for too long, or uh, they gonna feel like they can keep standing on you once you you feel me. All right, it is what it is. It hurt. Once you keep moving, that's going to hurt them even more because you never stop and you never gave up on yourself. Uh, that's what's up. So, you know, since you've been doing it, uh, have you really, like, fell out with people that you uh, thought you was close to, shit like that? I fell out with a lot, a lot of people, man. I fell out with a lot of people. And, of course, it's going to make it look like I'm on some other stuff because, like I say, I, I'm, I'm the bigger name. But, like, deep in reality, people don't know stuff that really goes on. That's why I'm glad I'm the humblest person because I'm going to go and let y'all think what y'all want to think. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and playing how I'm playing it and, and, until I can't play it no more. You know, like I said, yeah, it hurt, but it's like I can't I can't show no emotions like I, you know. Yeah. That's, that's, it's, it's, that's going to really put me in the jam that I, that I don't want to be in. Yeah. So, no. I, I feel like, like when your situation changed, your problem changed, like when you broke, money be the issue, but when you not broke, it's it's other issues. Sometimes you might not know who you could trust because you don't know who around you, you know, for what reason, shit like that. So, you know, how you deal with, uh, you know, as far as who you want to fuck with and who you feel like you could trust? Um, Like I said, I just, I just, go, I just go day by day. If I see people on some, on some, on some slick shit or, 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 or whatever, I just... Play them at their own game. I sit back and I act dumb. I don't always take my problems to people because my problem ain't everybody's business. All advice not good advice. So me trying, me coming to trying to tell you my advice. Whether you you could be the positive person in the real, but I feel like at the end of the day, I just can't. I, just my, my problem. Just I just can't bring my problems off on anybody. So I just I just sit back. Just be absorbing. I play and I just keep on going. Act like ain't nothing ever happened. You feel me? So that's how I just get through certain things and get through everybody. You feel me? Uh -huh. I just know how to read people. Because, and I'm glad. I, I'm glad God blessed me with this humbleness. Cause without without humbleness, you what, what are you gonna be? Yeah, I feel like you ain't gonna be around too long. Cause, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but you know, uh, I was looking on YouTube. I seen you had a song with uh, Walker Flock and LV the God. How that come about? Yeah, man. Man, shout out everybody, God, shout out Flocka, man. You know, that's just, it's just how I bumped heads with Flocka, you know. Shout out Bodil, my manager, you know, he ended up um, having good good relations with Bodil. And, you know, he been he been telling Bodil about me. We ended up going out flying. I mean, he been he, he ended up telling Flocka about me. We ended up going out there in the A where Flocka was at. You see, every politicking with him. And she, you know, he ended up going from there. He wanted, he wanted to do a track, and, you know. Yeah, with the guy, it's, it's the same way. You know, he's from my city, you feel me? Reached out to him, showed some love, and, you know, let him know, like, you know, this is what it is. I want you on this, and, boom, we collab, you feel me? That's what's up. That shit went crazy. Yeah. So you say, uh, Bodil, your manager? Yeah. You know, how y'all, uh, come across with each other? Yeah, you know, man, you know, I always seen Bo, but I never knew what was to him. I just always just see him, like, was too. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I got another manager named Looch. He ended up reaching out to Bo and talking to Bo. And, you know, they ended up bumping heads and Bo believed in me. You feel me? And it's like, shit. Yeah. Just because Looch introduced you know, him to me don't mean that he's, it's, it's his, his right or his business to mess with me. He, you know, like I said, he believed in me. He seen the humbleness in me, like, man, I, I, I like what that young man got going on. And, it, you know, end up going from there. And look back. You know? That's what's up. So, you know, for the uh, upcoming artists that's kind of lost in the music business and shit like that, you could uh, tell them, like, the importance of a manager? Um, It's just it's just it's a person that help you stand on business. Um, Just, just you know, just give you the right guidance that you need and, and just want to just show you a better way in life. And, Getting you ready for just the near future, you know, stuff like that. It's just here to help you and guide you in, you know, the right spots. Uh, so do you feel like that's something that somebody need from the beginning, or you start to need a manager once shit uh, start taking off? No, I feel like once you first starting off, like 
when you first kick this off, you, you gotta, I feel like you gotta start, you know, by yourself to see what you can do and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? Just see what things that you can, uh, guide it by yourself. I just feel like that's just something you see. And like the, the, the man of the thing, that's gonna come along with it. Don't rush it. You know, don't rush it. Just, you know, just do your thing. Hit the stool. You feel me? Don't, you know, reach out to certain people, politic a little more, and, you know, that manager thing gonna come with it. Just don't rush nothing. Just stay humble through it all. Yeah, for watching your videos and shit, the first thing I noticed is, like, your energy and your dances and shit like that. Like, was you always that way? Uh... Alright, so look, the reason I started this YouTube channel was to reach out to big artists in my area that got somewhat of a name, a following, fan base, you know, just people paying attention to them. That way I could build up my platform and I could reach out to smaller artists who I feel like got potential, you know, could make it somewhere if they just have the right people looking at them or the right person helping them, somebody paying attention to them. Because there's a lot of artists that got talent, but nobody paying attention, so the talent go unnoticed. So what I'm doing basically is looking out for them, giving back. Just the same way these artists looking out for me, because I started just without no name, didn't nobody know who I was. They just agreed to do this off the strength, you know, for free, not charging me nothing. So, for the artists that's looking out for me, I feel like it's only right that I give back to the other people. Because I used to rap, I used to be a rap artist, and I had talent, but wasn't white paying attention. So, I'm trying to create a platform to put everybody on who I feel like deserves that shot. So, if you want to support the movement, you can do it multiple ways. You can do it by either pointing me in a direction of somebody that you feel like got potential, and should be on this platform, send a donation, purchase some clothes, like, subscribe, and share my videos, putting somebody else onto the videos, just the simple things. All the comments, I read all that. So whatever you, however you choose to support, it's all appreciated. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. There. If you want to follow me on my social media, it's 16 shot on visuals on Instagram. Email booking Raheem16 at gmail.com. That's the best way to get up with me.